Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another booster cracking Sunday. And today we've got Alice Origins set one that I finally got. Uh, I am only missing set two now to open up in this series. Uh, I've opened up all the rest, so I was just missing this one. And I found a good deal on it. So we're going to open this whole sucker up today and see what kind of cool pulls we can find. Let's tear into this new thing. And again, this is uh, one of the small stupid booster packs, booster boxes that only have 20 packs in them, which again, I'm not a fan of that at all, but it is what it is. I'm just trying to get through these so I don't have to worry about the stupid 20 packs anymore. Ah, uh, yes, forgot we get a promo card in here. Look at that right on top. We've got, uh, what's her name? Leneth, Priestess of the Veil. Very cool looking J Ruler. There's her backside. Again, I'm not a fan of when they do this. The artist is getting lazy. Same exact stance. They're just changing the face, changing the background. Uh, not very creative, but I mean, beautiful artwork. I just uh, wish they would switch it up a little bit more, you know? All right, first pack. And uh, I can't really remember what's in here from this set. I'm sure I'll be reminded as we go, but uh, I know there's some a couple cool cards I would like to get. A lot of reprints right now. I know these sets always have like reprints. Was that a rare? That is a Memoria card. Oh, we started Memorias in here. A Memoria card of four or five. I don't know if that's even worth anything, honestly. I don't think it is even. There's our rare though, a little cat, Ramilia, the Librarian of Manga. Mag Magna, Magna. And we've got Bewildering Charm Full Art, a beautiful looking rare. Love that, awesome. Next pack, let's get into it. Wow, same uh, front common here as the other pack. Some weird eyes. We got the Keeper reprints there. Keepers of Past, Future, and Present. We've got Kid in Boost. I don't know what these Memoria things are, but it's interesting. Fire Magic Stone, and a Will Coin, and Dark Induction as our rare, or indication? I don't know. Oh, and then we got the full art of it. Very nice. Wow, wow. I didn't even, like, notice the artwork itself until I saw the full art, but okay, very cool. I think that's Gil over there. All right, I'm gonna do it again. I'm testing out the, like, the lucky left side. So if we start seeing a trend of good things being on that left side, we'll know what to do in the future here. So we're gonna go through Ruler's Memoria. Oh, beautiful. This is a very expensive card if you have the like promo nice event card of it. It's super rare. It was only given out to a few people, I think, a special print, uh, and it is just wonderful. It's like a $400 card because nobody has it. All right, life points, and then we've got our rare Phoenix. Uh, we don't care about Phoenixes. And then we've got a super rare full art. Very nice. What is this guy's name? Oborios, the reincarnating light serpent. Interesting. All right, cool. Super rare. All right, that was a super rare on the left, so I don't know. I don't know. I feel like if we're going to find it, we're going to find it in a couple packs here. I'm alternating right to left. We got Rapunzel as our Memoria card thing, Fire Magic Stone, some life points, and then we've got Estemia, the Fallen Angel of Desolation as our stranger. Cool looking card. And a Rook Egg. Just a Stupid looking common egg. Lucky left side, let's go into the next. Open this up and see all our reprint cards. Wow, that one's cool looking. Heroic Spirit of the Veil, uh, Savaria. Really cool artwork on that one. Thunder, classic. It's like the lightning bolt of Force of Will. Memoria, and my Darkness Magic Stone, a Will Coin. And then we've got Lars, Knight of the Sacred Spirit as our super rare and an arena full art common or normal i should say cracking on cracking in let's go leave a like on the video if you're enjoying the force of will content i'm putting out weekly make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more we're going to be opening up some other new box next week i haven't figured it out yet but it'll be awesome that's a cool light magic stone really cool all right there's our rare a derpy looking two-headed snake pet of Lineth. All right, that's her pet. And ooh, that's very nice. Is this actually the full art? It's gotta be, right? I think it, I think the full art in this set has like this on it still. So we've got the Fallen Angel of Desolation as our full art, super rare, beautiful looking purples in the foil there. Awesome. Yeah, ah. yeah. there we go, all right. Very nice, very nice. We got some more keepers and we've got there's the arena again. Oh, Mistopheles. Very, co very cool. I wonder if these Memoria cards are like promos or pre-release 
promos that you can get in pre-release boxes and they reprinted because this was a pre-release card. Um, let's see what's behind the life points here. Ah, Athena, yes, we want to get a full art of her for sure. She is a super rare Athena, the Guardian of Blaze with her big old burn to the cinders as our normal full art. All right, hey, that's pretty cool looking too. All right, keep her coming, keep her coming. There we go. More of those guys and gals. Repeats. Oh, Keeper of the Present. Very cool Memoria card. That is her... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is her, like, promo version, too. Which is interesting. Life points. And Bewildering Charm as our rare, which we got the full art of. Behind that, a really cool, just a normal, but really cool full art Life Profiteering Priest. Very nice. Whoop. And to the next one we go. Down the line of cards with a volcano and a lightning strike. They have their own lightning strike. I actually didn't know that. All right, Light of Sacred Spirit as our super rare, kind of lame looking, and Glorious Castle Town as a normal full art. I think they reprinted Glorious Castle Town in one of the new Alice sets or something. I don't know how often they reprint cards, but these Alice sets, I feel like they carry a lot of reprinted cards, which is crazy. Will Coin and a Berserk Dragon as our rare. It is a stranger behind it, a beautiful looking rare, Spirit of Goddesses. Very nice, very cool looking card. Awesome. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's get into the Dauntless Knight and the Little Stupid Drake and the Light Magic Stone, the Wind Magic Stone, which I wonder, because in the original set that these certain types of Wind Magic Stones are in, they're like a buck each actually for these stone cards because it has like a, a character on it. Really cool. I didn't know they actually reprinted it, so I'm gonna have to look it up. I I don't know if they're going to be as valued as the older sets, but still really cool that they reprinted it. That's Force of Will for you. They'll reprint cards. They're not scared to. Holy Nova! Super rare! And behind it, a Blazing Volcano normal. Next one. Let's keep cruising. I would love to get a full art of that really cool looking sword guy. Magic Stone of Gusting Skies. A Wind Magic Stone. And then we've got Palace of the Three Goddesses as our rare. And behind it, the hard hand. The hard hand. Aregarvian. I don't know how to say his name. Eh, it's kind of lame, but he's a rare full art. All right. Next one we go. Let's see what we can find in this one. All right. We got the dragon. We got seal of wind and light. Water magic stone, a will coin, and then the god city as our rare. Behind that, a double-headed snake full art rare. Pet of Lenath. Cracking on, we shall continue with the weird looking mask and a bad looking art and some odd other arts memory of resurgence. Hera, Goddess of Jealousy, as a memory card, the beautiful darkness magic stone. And we've got, ooh, a super rare crossing points. Interesting. Behind it though, oh, hoo -hoo, that is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful looking full art. It is just a normal in this set, but I will take it because the, all these Keeper of the Future Past and Present cards are just wonderful artwork. The artist did such a good job on these. Ah, Keeper of the Future Skuld. Skuld, very cool, love it. It's going in the collection. It's gonna go in the binder. I've got a lot of stuff I need to put in my binder. I am behind at keeping up with my binder assortments. I've got like six sets over here that all need to be put away of all my like rares and super rares. Uh, Lamorex the Third Knight as our rare, and then Palace of the Three Goddesses full art rare. Those palaces, they can be sleeper hits, you know? Sometimes they're worth like four or five bucks in these newer sets. Now, this one is a little bit older, but you never know. You never know. Those full arts, man. Those little castles. Another one of these wind magic stones. We'll see about those. Not quite sure. We've got the Hard Hand Man, again, as our rare, and then a normal pro gentimer familiar, weird looking, I can't even tell what's going on. Yeah, it's just a bunch of like eyeball bats, I guess. Yeah, really weird. We are cruising through. This doesn't feel like even 20 packs in this box because of how fast we're going, but whatever. We got a little rabbit, water magic stone with a dragon on it. Haven't seen really that one before. Uh, that one's cool. Oh, look at it. We've got, we can get the sword master in here. That's right. Shakti, the red eyes sword master is our super rare. I know she is worth some value. Obviously, in the full art, she's worth more, but I think she's got at least hold like a two buck point or something on that. Uh, normal, blessed, holy wolf as our foil super art 
whatever. The Red-Eyed Swordsmaster. Yes, I remember now. It's all coming back to me. She is. She's got some really cool pre-release cards in some of these more recent sets. Zero, the Flashing Mage Warrior Memoria card. That's hilarious. What a legendary card if you didn't get her with the skirt on. <laughs> Legendary, I didn't know they reprinted her in one of the sets. That was only a promo card. Blazer as our super rare, the classic Blazer, whatever it is. Spirit of Memory as our normal full arts. Cool looking card though. I think we've only got two packs left. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. Holy Wolf, Volcano, our memory princess thing. Joanne Diarc, the Awakening Purity. I believe this was a variant promo card for either Halloween or New Year's. It was like some France New Year's promo. I have it in my collection, the actual one, um, but I, I'm not remembering what holiday it was for. It was like stamped and everything. Really cool. Magic Stone Heat Ray. Well, it wasn't worth value in any of the older sets, so I doubt it's going to be valued now. And we've got the full art of Berserk Dragon Stranger. Very cool. Very cool. We got one more shot to go for some really good cards in our lucky left side. Wow, I'm skipping cards now, though. All right, we got Scold again. We got Disappearance. And we got Dance of Shadows. Again, promo card. I'm figuring out what these memorias are. Really interesting that they did the reprints like that. Another Wind Magic Stone. That should be pretty cool. Will Coin. And then we've got Twin Adder Spiral as our rare. But behind it, we've got... Well, it's a Full Art Super Rare. That's not bad. We've got... I don't know how to say her name. The Oracle of Sacred Text as a stranger. Some cool-looking artwork, but... I don't think she's really valued very highly. All right, our pulls of the day. Let's start off with Athena here. She's not a full art. She's not a foil. She's just a normal version, but I know she's a popular card, so maybe there's something there. We'll, we'll see. I'm guessing. I think the normal version of her, this uh, Red Eyes Swords Girl, she should have some value even as not a full art. Some sleeper hits now. We go into the future Scold. I know the promo is going to be more valued than this one, but it's still very nice and people still may want to collect it, so there might be value there. And again, you never know what these palaces and castles, the tree, uh, three goddesses palace is a full art, so we'll see if that's worth anything. A full art fallen angel of desolation should be pretty nice, cool looking card. This one, Dark Indication, I think this one might be a little bit good. And we've got Bewildering Charm as our full art too. Overall, I don't think this was a very successful box, honestly. Um, would I get it again? Probably not. The only card I'd really want to get in full art is probably Athena and maybe the Red Eyes Girl. Uh, those would be the only ones, but would I buy it again? I don't know. I would have to find it on sale again. I found this one on sale for like uh, 50 bucks, which was pretty decent. So maybe if I find it on sale again, I'll get another box. But uh, price is up on screen for how we did in the box toll here. I paid 50 bucks for it. So did we make our money back? If we did, leave a like. If we didn't, leave a like. And subscribe. Stay tuned. And let me know in the comments below, what do you want me to open up next? I mean, you name it. Oh, my camera's tripping out right now. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, chill out, chill out. Focus up. Stop. Thank you. Wow. Let me know in the comments down below what Force of Will products you want me to open next. I've got a ton of boxes of a lot of different sets besides the like three main most expensive ones. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. And we will see you guys in the next video.